I've been using this phone for a couple days now, and I gotta say, I am really, really, really enjoying it. So, I rooted it, and I did a video on how to root it. I'll link to it in the description. But first, you gotta unlock your bootloader before you can root. It's just a stupid thing that keeps you... If they want to know, like, you unlock your phone, etc. And, uh, so let's, let's do this. This video is going to show you how to make it towards you can read and write the system partition of your phone, the system directory. So, how you'll tell is you'll open up something like... Um, the best way I can think of to demonstrate this is SuperSU. It said, and I had to like downgrade my binary or downgrade SuperSU, uninstall it, blah, blah, blah. It was a lot of fun, but because I, I did it through the twerp method, which is the only way you can do it without applying this zip. So continue, normal, it failed. That's because you don't have permission. So like, supposedly if you try to uninstall a system app with Titania Backup, the phone supposedly reboots on you. So you're kind of stuck, like you... <laughs> You you can't make any changes to your system directory. I'm going to show you how to fix that. It's so simple thanks to uh, Viper Boy and thanks to Team Win for the recovery. So let's do this. Let's turn the phone off. I keep hitting up here for the power button. So let's turn the phone off. Uh, actually, before you do this, you're going to need to copy a file over to your SD card. I'll put it up on the screen now. It's just a simple zip made by Viper Boy. So let's power the phone off. And I don't actually have it on my phone. I have it on my uh, little micro USB OTG cable. I will link to these in the description. I've been using these for like about a year now and they work beautifully on most devices that support uh, host OTG connection or whatever. So put it back in there. We're gonna need to hold the volume down and the power button down until you see the bootloader. Mine says tampered and unlocked. You should be able to see that better now. And we're just going to press the volume down button. And then we're going to press the power button. And this is going to take us into torp recovery. Alright, so now that we're in here, we're going to hook the USB OTG cable up. The little light turns on, letting us know that it's working. And we're going to go to install. And then right here where it's storage, you can keep that your internal storage if you've put this on your internal SD card. But since it's on the actual flash drive, I'm going to choose USB OTG. And it says there's 1.9 gigs free. It's just a small flash drive because this is a small file. So there it is. Root or sprint one root disable system RW protection dot zip. And we're going to flash that. And it's going to give us permission to read and write to the system directory. Partition, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so we'll reboot the system. We can actually unhook the flash drive now. We don't need it anymore. <laughs> it's been a thumbnail in a lot of my videos lately. It just looks so cool. Alright. So now that we have done that, we should be able to go to Super SU, and it's gonna say update or not. Hmm. Maybe it automatically did that. <laughs> Maybe it automatically put the latest binary on there when I installed that zip. I don't know. But now we can actually like Super SU settings. It's actually installed in the system right now. So let me play around with this and see if I can get it to do that binary thing again. Okay, so I actually went and applied an older Super, I, I did the full unroot inside Super User or Super SU, and then I powered the phone off, went into recovery, installed an old Super SU version 0.99, and then it made me update it, of course. It should, in theory, yep, Super SU needs to update the binary, continue, normal. It should, yes, see, it works. You can install it, you can do anything you need to do in your system, partition, directory, whatever you want to call it, and it's, see, it. you didn't have to reboot in a recovery to do things. So you could uh, 
uninstall things that you don't want on your phone that are normally locked, like uh, Facebook, or for example, if you don't want Facebook on your phone because you don't use it, you can't uninstall it. You just simply can't because... Um, All it's going to do is simply uninstall the update. And then if you go into um, your apps and then you find Facebook. There's no way to uninstall it. You can disable it, but you can't really uninstall it. Now you can open up like Titania Backup. And you can search for. See, Facebook is a system app. Uninstall. Yes. Yes. Facebook. Uninstall. Yes. Yes. Now let's go back to our apps real quick. You will not see Facebook in there anymore. See, it says install. It doesn't say update or open. And if we reboot the device, it should keep those changes. Alrighty, so let's go back and let's see if we have Facebook installed. It's not there. It is not there anymore. And you can do that with any system app because now you have access to read and write to your system partition. You can update your binaries without actually rebooting your phone into uh, your custom recovery. I use Twerp. Um, you should be able to install BusyBox and let's go ahead and install that real quick. Open it up. Grant it root permission. Let's try that again. Grant. Yes, we'll make a backup. All right, now I'm going to choose install. I'm going to choose smart install, and then it's going to do its thing. This version of VisiBox installed is now uh, the same as the version VisiBox installed before the installation. Okay. So actually, <laughs> that zip that I applied might have done all this for us. Again, it, you know, the everything. That's awesome. Viper Boy is awesome. I'm going to be installing his ROM uh, as soon as I do my full review of this phone. So if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so as you'll get notified when I upload my first impressions video. Uh, I'll, I'll work on that tomorrow actually. And then Monday or Tuesday, I'll do my full review of this phone. And after that, I'll do a video on how to install Viper ROM, uh, Viper Boys ROM, and then I'll do a video reviewing it. I read the OP and I like a lot of the things that he's taken out and added and etc. So I'll be installing that ROM. It'll be the first ROM on my HTC One. So please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.